see. I'm gonna stream this and I'm gonna get a recording of this. Oh no, BA. Why would he want to go second, first with BA though? Like that's kind of bad. God, Andre, can you beat this fellow? Can you beat this young rat scallion? That do max easy, yeah. He said rat scallion. <laughs> that's my favorite word. Rat scallion is your favorite word now. It's one of my favorites, yeah. So he goes Dante. Dante here, Scarm. Yep. Oh no, King Backjack. Fuck, oh, that's a good card, guys. <laughs> oh gosh. Fire so basically, what and Backjack does is during his opponent's turn, he can banish it and add and mill the card. If he milled a normal trap card, he can set it instead of milling it. Oh. And also, he can activate that trap card during that turn. So it's basically a Temple of the Kings. Temple of the Kings. Yeah, essentially, that's what it is. Wait, that card is. Wait, does he have to show me? No, he doesn't show me. No, no. he doesn't. It doesn't reveal. It doesn't reveal. That's pretty broke, actually. <laughs> it's like a different dimension capsule, kind of. Or big eye. It's like, a, du it's like yeah. a duality. Well, no, duality reveals. No, I mean it's the duality that without revealing to your opponent. I guess. So it's like a big eye. The original I, big eye. I guess. <laughs> if all you people get that reference, kudos. I doubt it. Suck my dick. <laughs> oh god, this guy. Are we on stream, by the way, or no? Yeah, we are. Oh no! I shouldn't have said that. It's fine. <laughs> I'll make sure the stream's actually going. Anyway, he set one back row. Set a back row pass. Let's see. Well, he's gonna use King Backjack right here. Backjack. King Backjack. I keep thinking of Jack Black every time I see that card. <laughs> <laughs> and like Kung Fu Panda and, and whatnot. And I don't blame you. Oh wow, blame. he has Wind Blast. All right, that's cool. So he has a, so he has a wing blast and an, another unknown. It's probably another minus one, honestly. So my hand is quite awkward. It's I mean it's not the unplay it's not unplayable, but it's not totally playable either. What's your hand? Uh, cycle, mirror, book of eclipse. Those are the only three spells. Mm -hmm. Brio, unicorn, and DD warrior lady. That's not too terrible. Like it's, it's playable. It's not it's workable. Like I'm thinking of baiting out that wing blast with a DD warrior lady. Well, what is then he? I... he has a seer underneath thing, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. And he yeah. has a Skarm in Grave, so he'll just get Skarm back, obviously. Or actually, Which I'm okay just add back. Yeah. I'm okay with that. I'd rather just banish the Dante altogether, yeah, to be honest. I, th I think I think banishing the Dante is like your main concern right now. So. I'm and honestly, like, it's... and honestly, like, if he top decks your DD Warrior Lady, you'll be able to like, get rid of it with the Brio. Like, you won't have to redraw it again next turn. That's true. That's true. Yeah. The only problem is, what's the other face? Is it a Karma Cut? Or it's, is it's it. It's probably another minus one. Like, I'm pretty sure. Although, they run a lot of traps. I can't really say anything. Like, we haven't really seen much. Could be a breakthrough. You no, know, and he already has a Wing Blast in his grave. So, like, I've seen people run everything from Wing Blast to a Geki Break to Karma Cut. So. Alright, there's that. Oh, wow. What, so if, it's, what if it's another. Yeah, second seer. What if it's another Fire Lake? How mad would you be? <laughs> uh, I'd be annoyed. I mean, he'd only get one for one yeah, for his. Well, no, he would get the Dante back, and or the the card for Dante. He'd get a Seer back. He'd get the Dante back on the field, and he'd get a Tour Guide during that phase, or Graph, or whatever he wants. Well, see, the thing is, is because my Brianek is alive now, now I could just use it, get yeah. Shred. And I could Trish him, actually. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, assuming that back row isn't real, though. That's I've seen people run things like Breakthrough Skill and whatnot, though, in this deck, which are kind of like are kind of annoying. Well, see, see, the thing is, if you Breakthrough Skills my Brianek, it still leaves my the, Trish. Yeah, you still have the like, Eclipse for it, so... So like my hand was totally not unplayable, but it wasn't like the best yeah, hand. Yeah. Well, you didn't open a Jew, which is really unfortunate. Yeah, that's probably the worst nightmare for. Uh... The only thing I'm scared oh, of is wow. Minecraft. Yes. Well, damn. He didn't even wait. That's that's quite bad, actually. Well, he didn't want you to set it. Well, because he didn't wait, it allowed my unicorn to be a playable card. Yeah. I mean, you can still Trishula, can't you? Yeah. Yes, I can yeah, still Trishula. Get, yeah, you just have Kaleido. You get claws into Necro's he, he messed up. He, he should have waited. Up. Yeah, he messed up. I think he's mad now. And he's gonna realize it too. Are you still gonna banish the? What does he have in anything? Yes, here, right? Yeah, I don't even think yes. I would. I don't even think I would banish the Dante. Well, if you don't want him milling, I, I think I'd still banish the Dante personally, even though well, you have well, unicorn on I'm the field. Gonna the Dante. I'm gonna, I'm gonna retreat back to his extra deck. Oh. 
Oh, you're gonna do this play? You're gonna get Brio and Trish out? Okay. I thought you were gonna get out. Yeah. I thought you said you had a Kaleido in your hand for the Unicorn play. I don't know, I had Cycle, I had Cycle. Yeah, my bad. I misheard you. Shirt effect, get Claws, get Mirror. Well, no, I already have Mirror. I'm gonna get Trish. Just straight to Trish. I thought you already had Trish. The hell? No, I didn't. I had oh. Mirror. I took my hand. Book, mirror, Recycle, Book of the Clips. Oh, he, he just skipped. It doesn't matter. Okay. I guess that's the power of <laughs> being able to search everything in your deck. <laughs> Brutal, man. Brutal. So, what I'm going to do is, because BAs are probably one of the few decks that actually doesn't run that many floodgates, although recently that has changed, I only side again just three Roll Decrees, three Dankos, and Ring of Destruction. You really like Danko against this deck? Yes. Danko is amazing against BAs because, one, if they have back rows and they can't activate them, they can't special summon their monsters for free. Yeah, and I two... I don't, know, I don't know. For some reason, I just, I just haven't really, like, Denko against this. I, I, I see that point. Like, I'll acknowledge that point for sure. But, like, I just, I just don't like the fact that, like, it just sucks against established boards. Like, if they already have, like, a Dante or something on the field and you don't oh, have, absolutely, like... Oh, absolutely. Like, absolutely. if they have their back rows and, like, they have, like, a Dante established or a Virgil or whatever, usually a Dante, like, the problem with that is you'll have to have your other combo pieces to out that Dante or whatever else they have, which means the Denko is kind of just irrelevant, especially if you can't protect it the following turn. If they can just make, an, like, if they have, like, a TGU that they'll search off a Skarm or something. Mm -hmm. So you'll you'll definitely, you'll definitely have to have like all the combo pieces. That's the one thing I just don't like about Denko. I don't like having the normal summon if I have like a Jew. Like I'd rather just be able to summon a Jew, get a search, and then just hope hopefully have all the other combos. Like I ha I like having more combo cards. Denko really isn't a combo card. I agree. I agree. It isn't. But it's just it can be a blowout in a lot of situations, yeah. as mentioned in the previous match actually. Yeah. <laughs> but um. So what I was gonna elaborate is that lately BA started to run Vanity Fiend, Majesty's Fiend. So lately, people that say Sadek Ali Eclipse and Necros is actually a mistake. So you should probably keep in one, just yeah. in case. Yeah, I agree. So, so De here's the Des Desmond popularized the triple mistake, if I'm not mistaken. So, Especially I thought last it weekend. was. Yeah, it was probably him. Yeah. Cause he ran it last weekend, didn't he? He did. He got. Uh, Although that, although that energy only had 81 people, so, yeah, so it's not... Yeah, so can't really say anything. Uh, and this is actually hard. Siding in seven cards against this deck is actually hard. Actually, I'm only siding in two degrees, but I'm going second. Or, no, he's going to let me go first. I mean, you're going to want to go second regardless, honestly. Yeah, but I think he's going to let me go first. I don't know, man. These players are... <laughs> oh, what? You're right. He let me go yeah. first game one. But he didn't know what that was playing, so it doesn't matter. Like if he's, I would still choose to go second. Like I don't really care, especially if I'm running BA. Like I don't really see a reason to go first. I don't care if you want to set up. Like I just, I want to go second. I get you. Like I don't even care if you run traps. Like I'd rather just draw more cards. Yeah, 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 definitely. I, yeah, agree. I, I think a lot of people are still like overlooking that. Like even with decks like Teller Knights and whatnot, like I, I don't care if I have cards that I need to set. Like if I'm going second, like I just, it just puts me like. In a situation where my opponent number one usually doesn't know what I'm playing, and that that alone could just like just cost them the game. Like if they if they don't do a correct play, I mean if they're playing Necros, obviously if they if if they don't know what they're doing, like if they if they're just like if they're going in blindly and it's like Necros, obviously then they're obviously just gonna do the Valk play as much as possible. But if it's any other deck and it's not Necros, um, I'd I'd still rather be going second. Well, he let me go second, so and I have a maxi in my hand, so I think I'm pretty sitting sitting pretty well actually. Yeah, the maxi. Well, you're running two maxis in this deck, right? Or are you running? Yeah, two, two maxis yeah. seems to be like the most optimal number for some reason. Although I want to switch to three, but I don't know. Cutting out one MSD seems really risky. I don't know. We'll see how it is in going into nationals. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, we just learn. We're just learning right now. Yeah. What the? I was the math. Okay, sure. Yep. Yeah, you're good. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he's gonna just send Skarm to the grave. You should, you, just... should, you should tell him to send Farfa and then banish his mathematician. <laughs> it sets up your grave. It sets up. <laughs> <laughs> it's a spicy uh, meatball. <laughs> oh god, this clown! <laughs> Dude, these cookies are so delicious. Like I legit just what want to keep. What are they? Chocolate chip. Uh, chips Ahoy or? No, they're just homemade. 
Oh, homemade. Oh, those are nice, actually. Mm-mm-mm. Oh, what does this guy think so hard? You know, the obvious play would be probably just to send Scarm to the grave, but yeah. this guy must be... Oh, we're going okay. Back, we're going back to Jack Black. Or back Jack. Okay. All right. Although it still confuses me why he went first with BA. You want the extra card for BA. Because mm -hmm. cause one, Necros can't attack, and two, you can OTK them. If you do triple Dante, that's actually a very common play with BA, believe it or not. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this guy's running Desmond's build, and he's running mistakes. Yeah. So. Ask him. Just ask him for main phase. That's what I always do. Well, I like to slow roll it like this. Well, I would ask. So, I know. Main phase, alright. Main phase, alright. That's how you know this game's gotten degenerate when you actually have to literally announce every single little phase. Yes. Well, I actually think that's actually gotten better because I think this game's got more detailed. Yeah, like, yes, I, I think it's good. Like, especially for communication. I agree. Like, uh, but anyway, so back to this game. Um, my hand is really no, not that no playable. Denkos, no Denkos. No Denkos. The only monster I have that's playable is Diddy Warrior Lady. <laughs> Ew. So my hand is MST Mirror. That's the only spells. My MST hand, my... Mirror Diddy Warrior Lady. Maxi Unicorn Trishula. Maxi Unicorn Trishula. Ew. It's very unplayable. Man, where are your Manju Senjus? Like, really? <laughs> like, They're probably at the bottom of the deck chilling. <laughs> so I'm thinking of just saying Diddy Warrior Lady here, but the problem with that, though, is is they run Vanity's Fiend and Majesty's Fiend. And that's I, just no I, I don't, like, it's very unlikely he'll just draw one of those, honestly. Watch him just draw, like, Spell Cancer. And just I think I'm just going to, I think setting, I think just setting, uh, Look, like I'm thinking, those backwards are like a breakthrough skill. It's definitely awesome. not like mind crush or anything like that. It's a. I have a weird feeling he has minus ones that he just set just because he doesn't want to get Trisha lit, obviously. So. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. It's too. probably like a minus one or like two minus ones, and then like a mind crush or something. Well, or fire lake. Well, I'm definitely gonna set the MSD here because. Well, yeah, obviously. I'm thinking of saying I'm thinking of just setting MSD and passing, believe it or not, right here. And holding the D warrior lady for vanity scene, majesty scene. But the problem with that though is, is he could just blow me out with like a tour guide or something next turn. I don't think so. Like it's still not gonna be a blowout. So you think I should just set the D warrior lady? Because like, okay, worst case scenario, what's he gonna draw? Tour guide out of thirty four cards. Well, he he rearranged his deck. Remember that with King Backjack, he did rearrange his deck. Even so, like okay, out of three cards, the, like the point is like he still has to have the tour guide. And even the tour guide isn't a complete blowout. He'd have to mill like really nutty. Well, they also run fiend grieving, with, well, which is actually useless right now because I have nothing. Yeah, in the grieving grave. doesn't matter. So I think just setting MSD here is correct. Yeah. Or not. And grieving has to send a monster back, right? So I mean, even, even no, if no, it's any card in my graveyard. Any? Are you sure? I'm pretty sure it's yeah. MST. I'm pretty sure it's monsters. I could be wrong though. What is he gonna go? I think in? He wants, he wants to use King Pack Jack's effect. It could be end phase MST for decree. I mean. I don't know why you would do that, but that's just dumb in my opinion. I'll just wait. No, yeah. it's not. Okay, this is where my MSD really shines right now. So, if he wing blasts my MSD, he's not I going just... to. Uh, that would just be that would just be a, like a misuse. He's probably just gonna crack. Okay, yeah, there definitely. He's just pushing. Crack I'm just gonna that. take the 15, which is yeah. fine. I'm okay with that. So he has a back row, which I mean, he has a hand, which means he has either mind crush or he has one of the minus ones. And unfortunately, I do another maxi, which does not help at the moment. But again, I think I could just pass. I could just not do anything, actually. I think here, I think you do actually want to start setting the deal with I think you actually should have set it last turn. Now that I think about it. Well, that's what I said last turn. I mean. Yeah, now that I think about it, you probably should have in hindsight. I'm going to set it now, obviously, so. It's fine. I mean, I'm still in, I'm still in an okay position. Even with those four back rows, honestly. I'm actually hoping he, like, wing blasts you or something like that. 
What's your hand again? Trish, Unicorn. Two maxis in the in mirror. Two maxis in a mirror. Okay. What did you banish? Uh, probably mm -hmm. not. I'm thinking. Um. The, the way I look at it is like if you don't banish and then you like you can have a karma cut. That's why. Yeah. I think I think like if you think of it this way, like if you don't banish and you just try and like attack next turn to bait out his minus ones, and if he has like karma cut or right, your wing blast, that sets you back even further, and like you'll still have to deal with a fifteen hundred beater. And like honestly, like he's not gonna be able to just special summon all his stuff from hand anyway. No effect. Oh really? You chose a no effect? No yeah. effect. Yeah, you want to force him to use those traps, huh? Yeah, I think I think forcing them to use the minus ones is actually correct here. What'd you do? Finally, we finally drew. Oh. oh my god. Well, damn. Uh, thinking. Mm. It's a cost, I think. Well, that sucks. I mean, he doesn't really. He only hits two cards in my hand, yeah, which he is. Just hits the, well, no, he also hits DD Warrior Lady. Oh shit, that's actually pretty bad. Well, damn. Well, this is actually not too bad, because even if I banish my DD Warrior Lady for last turn or Mathematician. He would spell summon all his BAs for free. Yeah, so I mean, the, I think it was a correct play to actually not banish. So yeah, I'm just gonna... Because like, it still forces him to just like have something. But you not having like a Manji or Senju is really setting you far behind. I hope you can like set up a cycle play soon. Well, I do a Senju, so this actually... Oh, uh... you drew a Senju? I'm thinking if I want to destroy anything from my deck, though. The Gungnir. Did you take out the Gungnir? I did. I took out the gun here. Oh, well then probably not. Like, there's nothing really uh, in a sense. Alright, what's he gonna get here? Skarm, right? Skarm! He's not triggering a uh, graph. Oh, he is triggering it. Chain Ma oh, Chain Maxi. gonna get Skarm. Yeah, he's gonna get Skarm, he's gonna let it die. I'm gonna draw. And I draw a I draw a Denko, which is actually not bad. That but not actually great. Denko's actually really good here, I think. It's okay. Oh no, he you get crush carded, dude. You're under crush what? card stuff. Aren't you how's is, no, it's Oh it's not crush. Oh, my bad, I'm smoking. I'm still thinking old school crush card. This is the new crush card, no, not the old. Uh, yeah, you take damage on like, your opponent's hand and all monsters they control. If you, yeah, dude, I'm so used to old crush card like drawing cards. I'm like, oh shit, why did we maxi? <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Yeah, but like, dude, we're so still under. We're still under uh, a lot of. We still can't really do much. That's the problem. Well, your opponent, you you don't take any damage until the end of your next turn. You know that, right? Yes, I know. I know. But this forces me to summon the Senju first, which is unfortunate. It's fine. So yeah, I'm gonna summon the Senju. Effect. Chain. Like chain the mistake. Or chain MST to the mistake. Is that it? So. Yeah, it's Search good. Goes through. And I would search for. So your hand now is Denko, Maxi, and what's the last card? And Mirror. And mm -hmm. Mirror. Yeah. I think I'm gonna get Bryo here. Bryo and just pass. Wait, can the monster still be destroyed with Crush Card? It can, right? Yeah, you just take no damage. You're right. Okay. But he gets an end phase search with Skarm, which is really annoying. Mm -hmm. But it's not the worst thing. It's not. It doesn't really matter. Like, what is he gonna search? Outside of I have another Max C as well. Exactly, so this... exactly. So I'm really sitting. Pretty and you don't need, it's not like even if you draw a Valk off the max, you don't even have to use it because, like I said, you take no damage. So, the only thing that's going to be the worst, though, for here is if he draws another mistake. Yeah, another mistake would really set you far behind. But this guy, the thing actually with mistake is, though, he's probably not going to shotgun it because, like, this guy didn't shotgun it. He doesn't think I run Denkos. Yeah, a lot of people are kind of straying away from Denko right now. They'd rather just run, like, pure removal, which I kind of agree with, but at the same time, it makes it so that Denko's a little bit more unexpected. Yeah, because a lot of people are running hands right now, and I think uh, I think this is where Danko actually really shines. 
I mean, well, one anyway. tour guide. Let's see what this clown has. This mathematician, this wizard. If this guy forgets that crush, he, that I'm under crush card, and in, in in the sense I'm under that I take no damage, this guy's gonna really pay for it big time. <laughs> I don't think he's gonna forget. I doubt it either, but you never know. Let's hope he does, though. A lot of people probably will forget that effect, to be honest, though, because he's kind of distanced from it. Like, look, look, look at all the things that happened since he crush carded you. You MS, he activated a mistake. You MST'd it. He added his, you know, his tour guide. He drew another card. You know, he's on his next turn. You passed your turn. Like, uh, okay, he's not he didn't, yeah. going to go off. He's he's not going to go off. All right, he's smart. Though. A lot of people do end up being distanced from things like that, and a lot of people end up not really. Absolutely. Just, yeah, unfortunately, like that's also how a lot of cheating takes place in Yu-Gi-Oh. A lot of people just get distanced from little things, and then they forget, or they just pay, don't pay attention to their opponents. Well, hopefully this this Danko resolves, and I just win. What did you, you draw for turn? I drew a Clazolus, which is actually the best thing ever. Oh wow, you drew a Clazolus. Yeah. Wow, that's brutal. Danko good. Although he can, just, is, he can, he can still, he, is correct, I can do 28, 29, 27, 17. Is that a uh, game? What's the what's the damage? 28, 29? Nine, no, no, no. 29, 27, 17. That's not a game, right? No. Oh. oh, he just quit. Wow, yeah. Denko Seca just too strong. People really sure love scooping into that. And I actually don't think he would have lost the following turn because, like, he would have still been able to, like, far for your Denko and activate whatever he wants. Like, yeah, that's what I'm thinking, but... I don't know I why think... he scooped. Like, okay, sure, you were probably just going to go, like, Unicorn add, like, Valk or whatever, but... That doesn't well, really... my, my, well, I have another Maxi as well, but um, he knows I have another Maxi too. That's the thing. Well, yeah, he saw it. So I mean, he knew he knew he was gonna draw cards. I think he was just, he just knew he was gonna be really far behind. Yeah, yeah, that's probably it. Cause I mean, he would have had the special at least twice. You get a plus one well, off of that. Well, the problem that, well, the problem with this is though is is if I trished his his tour guide maybe, or if I just not trished any of those back rows, just kill the mathematician. Well, you would have he... been able to go add Shrit and add Cycle here. And then Trishula him right now instead of doing the Kaleido play. Right. And then you're still really far ahead. Although exactly. you wouldn't although you wouldn't have a Valkyrus though, which is kind of annoying. So Yeah, that's the only downside. So that's the only downside, but Wow. Anyway. Anyway, on to the next one.